What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is the 20th of May. We're taking a look here at XRP this morning. XRP slash the United States dollar. That'll be the pair here. Daily chart, bitstamp, data. XRP, guys, it's been a while. Does anybody even talk or invest in XRP anymore? Well, I would think so, but I don't see too much of or hear too much about it because the markets are quiet. Guys, XRP is at a critical area on the chart and we're going to talk about it right now xrp has been in a multi-year to say the least pennant pattern the lower end of that pennant pattern is this white line running up on the screen right here this is a key level of support right here you can see how important it is look at all of these you know what let's circle them so they stand out um for you guys here on the chart where is the circle tool so we have one right here we have one right here so this is just recent you can go back and we'll take a look years this fine support here year after year i mean let's take a look right here check this out if you are new to xrp this might be a surprise to you if you've been around a while you know exactly what I'm talking about here for the support area for XRP. You get the point. XRP is sitting right at that area right now. Check out all of these supports back in here, 2022, 2023, just recently in 2024. Guys, this needs to hold. If this doesn't hold and we start trading below this level, XRP is going to have a huge price drop. At the least, it's going to start a new downtrend, which means we're going to break. We're going to turn that into resistance and the markets are going to head lower for XRP. This, in my opinion, is another area. It's another time. It's a make or break moment for for ripple xrp for this xrp token for the price have we traded below this level of course we have but we've quickly quickly recovered it, this is just in the in the past couple of weeks we've quickly recovered we don't want to see the price unless you're bearish on xrp you do not want to see the price close and start trading and finding its new home below this long pennant pattern that's been years in the making let's let's take a look here let me zoom out here so you can see check this out this pennant pattern goes back all the way to the 2017 2018 highs you can see it traded all the way down here back in 2020 we traded all the way up to the top in the 2021 we traded back down to the lows in 22 the lows again in december 20 the pennant pattern, the apex of this pattern goes out to, I believe it's 2026. So you're right in this time frame. It's basically the, it goes out to 2025. It's a little hard to see here, but the pennant pattern goes out uh, a whole nother year, if not a little bit more. So there is a chance that going back to the bullish scenario, that XRP you know, whipsaws within this whole range basically out until, you know, March or so of 2025, and then decides which way it wants to go. But let's take a step back here. Let's go back to what I was originally talking about. And, you know, if for some reason this is the time that XRP fails and doesn't, you know, hold at the important pennant pattern, what is the uh, the area below the market to look for for the price of XRP. Let's talk about that right now. So if XRP gets very bearish and starts to trade below this pennant support, which is right now is that uh, if we trade it down there today, it's at like 50 cents. What are areas to look for for price targets? Well, we have a couple here on the chart. We have... Uh, 48, 47, 45, 44. That's these 
green and orange lines on the chart. We have a new one we want to talk about as a potential area of price support. That's at 41,227. That is right here. If we get a sharp drop below, below the uh, current support, we take out the lows over here of the 13th of April. I think there's a potential bounce uh, possibility here at the 41,227 area for, for Ripple XRP. What is my ultimate target though for for this? If this if it breaks below it, starts to trade below it, find its finds its home, gets comfortable below that pendant pattern, it's not gonna be good for XRP. I think XRP could actually drop all the way down to 34,905. That's way down here, guys. 34,905. Could this be short term? Of course it could be. Could it be a giant shakeout? Of course it could be. But XRP has shown us that this pennant pattern is very important. That lower support is very important. You can see how nasty things got here on the 13th and 12th of April. And we quickly, quickly recovered. They came in and bought the market up and got it back above that important area. So I'm hoping this doesn't play out. And, you know, because it's going to hurt a lot of investors big time. Um, doesn't mean it won't recover, but at least in the short term, it's going to do a lot of damage to people's accounts. Um, and a lot of those people can't afford to take a massive, massive hit like that. What does that look like? So if price just dropped off a rock today and we started to get down to, let's call it our 48, 48 level we talked about, call that like a 6% move lower. Let's see what the 45% uh, 45 cent mark looks like it's about 11 percent and then my new target number one below the market is 41 cents that's about a 20 percent move lower in price and if we continue to drop down to the 34,905 that's a 32 percent call it a 30 percent drop lower so if you have a ten thousand dollar account that's like losing three thousand dollars on paper that's a massive massive hit so you know is it gonna happen of course i don't know is it possible of course it's possible and the chart tells us that this area needs to hold otherwise there is some big trouble potentially ahead here for xrp so not to stir up any fear and get you to sell your position that's not by any means what i'm trying to do I'm just trying to make you aware of how important this level is. And, you know, it doesn't matter if I tell you or somebody else tells you. Look at the chart and you can see how important this area is on the XRP chart. And it's held in the past. Does it get a little dicey when it gets around it? It does. But then it quickly recovers. So, hey, I'm hoping this time is no different and we do recover and maybe Bitcoin can start to get its act together once again in the days ahead and that'll help prop up xrp you know maybe get it back up to the upper end of this pennant pattern and go on a big big rally here so hey just wanted to share it with you guys so we've had this move up consolidation break move up consolidation you know do we actually get the break higher or does this thing continue lower if it continues lower, there's a chance for a 30 plus percent. I think it was about a 34 percent move to the downside. You know, XRP at 34,905 to be exact. And I'm not hoping. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. That's going to hurt a lot of people. Potential good deal. OK, if you're looking to buy when prices go down, you're obviously going to get a good deal if that takes place. Yeah, you're at about a 32, 33 or so percent move to the downside for the target. We'll see, guys. We've seen XRP break below this in the past and and recover. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know how many more times I can say it, but it's an important area to hold. So I'm rooting for that. Hopefully it does. And then we actually go on a rally here. So if the price shot straight up today to the upper end of the pennant, you're at about a 50 percent move higher. And, you know, if things stay the same here for XRP, there's, you know, 
will continue to trade all the way up to the upper end of the pennant. You know, maybe we'll try to break out, we'll fail, we'll go back to the, onto the downside, and so on. And this could carry on until, like I said, March of 2025. So just keep your minds open. If this thing does start to break lower, have a plan in place before it takes place. And then also have a plan in place if it starts to break higher before it takes place. And of course, guys, not financial advice. Let me know your thoughts on XRP. This is the XRP slash United States dollar chart from Bitstamp. It was a daily chart. It could get ugly. 34,905 is my support down there below the market for my low end 41,227 or, um, you know, higher than that. Time will tell. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and join us here, guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Take care.